is so personal. When people get a hat that they love, they keep it for years and years. So when customers pop into this Cavenders along the Northwest Freeway, Lawrence Jogno isn't pushy. The only person that's gonna rush you is you. He's the hatter here. On social media, he's the Houston hat guy. You have to be a little crazy, and you also have to have a passion for hats. I've been a hat nerd ever since I was a teenager, and after I retired, I picked up my hobby and now I do it full time. I've never really been a hat person. That's something Lawrence hears all the time. Well, it's because they haven't had the right hat. So we start the journey. First step, gotta get your head measured. That does not actually involve standing on one leg, but I trusted the process. Maybe a little too much. You are a seven and one eight. Now choose the style you like. Cavenders has more than a few options felt hats, and of course we have wool hats, straw, palm, leather, any number. What's the most popular? A felt hat, especially for rodeo, a black felt hat. From there, Lawrence customizes it. The hat looks too wide on you, so I'm gonna cut the brim down just a bit. He sands it, bevels it. Look how smooth that is. Then starts shaping the crown. When the felt heats up and becomes moist, then it becomes very pliable. And that's how you can put a shape on it. If you want to know what to ask for, Lawrence swapped out the cattleman crown for an open crown, then shaped what's called a telescope or gambler on top. Finally, more steam. He gently rolls the brim before the final fitting. When I shape a hat or create a hat, I look at the person's face, their structure, how tall they are, how wide they are, and then I design the hat to complement them. I always tell people they're the cake and the hat is the icing. Just in case you didn't know this already, if you buy your hat here at the Cavenders along the Northwest Freeway, you can bring it in to have Lawrence clean it, restore it, or shape it. If you're not confident in a hat, you're not gonna wear it. If you want that confidence, but haven't been sure where to start, ask the Houston hat guy. When you get it just right, and then you put it on a person's head, and they look at a mirror, and they beam, then you know you've nailed it. So it's fun. Reporting in Houston, Brandy Smith, KHOU 11 News.